Having one spreadsheet as the source for all your information turns disconnected data into an actionable system of record ready to use across the platform. With Workiva, set up a spreadsheet to house all your data in a single centralized location. Easily add data to a spreadsheet, change formatting as needed, and create practical formulas to simplify your processes. Let's see how it's done. Start by adding data to the spreadsheet by importing a CSV or Excel file. But first, lock the cells you don't want to be affected by the import. To do this, highlight the cells, columns, or rows, and choose Lock from the Edit toolbar. Locking a cell prevents all edits until those cells are unlocked. Only a spreadsheet owner can lock down cells. Now we can import our CSV or Excel file. First, select the file from your computer and create a new spreadsheet. Or if you're updating a previously created spreadsheet, add the sheets from the file to the existing spreadsheet. If you choose to overwrite existing sheets, ensure the sheet names in your external file match the sheet names in your spreadsheet exactly. Keep in mind, all cell content, formatting, and formulas will be applied from the imported Excel file. You can make further formatting updates in the Edit Toolbar or the Formats tab within the Properties panel. There are a few key settings to highlight. The Format Type applies the default format to the selected cells and determines what additional formatting options appear below. The Entered In and Shown In settings allow you to enter a value with a certain precision but display it with a different precision. For example, this number is entered in ones and we can see the full value of the cell in the formula bar. However, the cell displays it rounded to millions. These settings can be set separately across links, allowing you to house precise data in your spreadsheet by setting the entered in value at the source to ones while showing rounded data at the destination shown in thousands or millions. Now, let's simplify how you use formulas. Hover over the bottom green triangle within the cell to display the formula in that cell. For help creating formulas, select Formula Assistant from the formula bar. Here, you'll find a full list of the formulas available with descriptions and syntax for each one. Make your choice and the Formula Assistant displays the necessary syntax below the formula bar and bolds the segment currently being worked on. Expand the Formula Assistant to see a description of the bolded section and an example of what a completed formula might look like. If there's an error, the formula indicator will turn red. Hover over the red triangle to see more details about that error. Right-click the cell to access the Formula Details panel. Here, you can easily track the flow of your data through the formulas you created. View each cell referenced in the selected formula, including who made the most recent edit and when. Navigate to a reference by using Jump to that cell or use the cell history icon. Now let's use data validation to control the input options in a cell. We can do this by adding a drop-down list. Create a new rule or edit an existing one by selecting it from the list. Set the name for the rule, apply the applicable range, and then set your list options. You can either manually type the list options or select them from a range of cells. Finally, let's take a look at conditional formatting, which allows you to create rules to format your cells when they meet certain conditions. Create a new rule or select from the list to edit. Set the name and applicable range for the rule and then select the conditions for your rule from the list. Inspect a value or select a cell to compare to. Then, set the formatting to be applied when the condition is met. Create additional conditions for the rule as necessary. And as always, save your changes.